In the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost, Amen. Jesus, Mary, St. Joseph, and St. Teresa, pray for us. So I do hope these canceled priests uh, don't get angry or resentful at their position. I know it's hard when you've been ousted by your own for being a good person and doing the right thing. So now you're suffering so much, maybe even sleeping out of your car, going hungry, not getting the medical assistance that you may need in certain ways, uh, feeling like you're going to, you know, maybe not live as long because of the stress, all stuff like that can build resentment and hate over time. And it's hard when you keep calling people out and all you get is just nothing or things seem to be actually getting worse. But I'm telling you that God has you in a, in a beautiful place. And what is abhorred by men is loved by God. And you have not been canceled. You've been promoted. Literally, you have been promoted to a very beautiful mission. If you should persevere in it, you would uh, obtain a very high place in heaven. And I'm certain of that. Just like Father Gordon McRae. If he accepts his position in life, his low position, almost like Lazarus. You know, Lazarus, I'm talking about the Lazarus that was fed the thrown the crumbs or ignored by the rich man. And that's the horror of it. He wasn't, uh, he wasn't insulted by the rich man. He was flat out ignored. And that's almost worse because God wants you hot or cold. But if you're lukewarm, he'll spit you out of your, his mouth. And we're dealing with a lot of lukewarm people, bishops and stuff. And it's horrifying for the canceled priest. I'm saying persevere, write books, do what you can, uh, do what you can, and you will find that in the end you will probably have done more as a canceled priest should you persevere in your earthly mission than you ever would have done uh, thinking that you were <laughs> thinking you were on one road and then getting veered off onto the the bumpy dirt road that really does will save not your soul but others but we have to get rid of that hate and resentment and that's the hardest part so first of all forgive God for allowing it forgive yourself for and and then try to forgive others